I've said before, grooming is an art. You have to be uh, really precise. A lot of people think that going down the trail and groom is just going straight. But there is a science to all of this. Moving your snow, compacting it, filling in the hole. <laughs> Who's Luke Levi? Just a regular guy that does uh, volunteer work for a snowball club. A guy that loves snowmobiling and uh, what's uh, what goes with snowmobiling. Great people you meet on the trail. Make people smile because you make a nice trail. I'm the groomer guy. <laughs> This is what we'll be uh, riding in. This is our groomer. Really, it's a loner from the Sault Ste. Marie Club because ours uh, broke down. It's on the trail. They're really, they're really nice to, to let us use their tractor. The back end, it's the drag. The part that you cut to your trail, it's called a drag. And that's what makes your tractor turn. These two hydraulic cylinders, one pushes, one pulls. So if I'm going to turn this way, this one goes in and it pushes. So the back end is making the groomer turn. It's quite the system. A bunch of snowbillers came into the store, and one of our club members were there, and they came in and started talking to me. He says, it's our first time here, and this and that. And I asked him, how did you learn about Duberville? About your blog? We we're following your blog. We decided to load up the sleds and come riding up here. I'm on municipal council here. It's been my third uh, term. And I'm on the snowmobile club here in Duberville. So now we're leaving Duberville. So we're going to be gone probably about uh, six or seven hours. We we'll won't see much anything. There's no cell phone. Just a CB radio that I have right here. And when we're in the power line tonight, it won't do anything because the interference of the power line, you can't call out. In the old days, I had no way of communication. I could be gone for 18, 20 hours, and uh, if I was really far, I couldn't even have radio communication. I was on my own. Because you want your trail to have no traffic over it until it sets up. So uh, we go at night. The temperature usually is colder at night. The toughest part of the year is when we're starting. Like, you got lots of holes to fill in. You got to push some snow, cut your brush, because the brush is the worst. It grows so fast, it's unreal. It's uh, 17 years of working trails, grooming, putting up signage, cutting brush. It never stops. There's always something to be in, you have to do. I have never seen it. The trails were nice. We went to a restaurant for about an hour and a half. We had to backtrack a little bit on the trail. Came back, it was all trash and all mud, mud and snow all the way. It's like always on alert, like you're right. tense because you never know if one guy's gonna turn the curve yeah, and hit exactly. you. Yeah. So I was all yeah. nervous all the time. Yeah, we got people, Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, uh, Minnesota. We got Russia, Germany, uh, there's Sweden. There's even places where there's not even snow. Seems like people, they want to see a crazy Canadian, they're going to the bush and uh, snowmobiling and the grooming trails. Actually, we have members as far away as Texas, Indiana, Ohio, Wisconsin. Trails are so so well-maintained compared to Michigan. And up here, it, it, it just flat as a, as a tabletop, 14 foot wide. And you know, a lot of it is is, is you. You know, you put, uh, you put a lot into the trails. You, a lot of yourself, you take a lot of pride and it shows. I'm grooming that trail like I'm gonna be riding it the next day.
When a snowmobile hits a curve, people tend to press more on the gas. So by doing that, it pushes the snow up in the curve. So what we do is I'll uh, angle my plow and then I'll grab the snow and we, you bring it back to the center. You should see this spot. It's so bad in the summer, ATVs don't even want to go over this. You'll think you're driving almost like on a paved road. So uh, must be around six o'clock in the morning. We've groomed all into the night on our way back home. Our work here is done. The 2014 Arctic Cat snowmobiles are ready. We're not going to tell you which one is right for you. The machine will do that. But for that to happen, you gotta ask the question, which one is made for my kind of riding? We'll make that part easy and fun. But first, here's what you gotta know. For 2014, the ZR returns. These machines are lighter, faster, and more refined than ever. While many of our proven engines return for another tour of duty, two new highly anticipated engines highlight the 2014 lineup. The long anticipated 600 c Tech 2 bearing the 6000 series designation has arrived after nearly four years in development. In the four-stroke category, we're proud to introduce the new 7000 series, the naturally aspirated c Tech 4 there's also a new engine naming system. In order of horsepower, we begin with the 9000 series, followed by the 8000, 7000, 6000, and 5000, followed by our smaller engines, the 500 and the 570. That's just a taste of what to look for. So stick around for a while. Watch, learn, and in short order, the sled you've been looking for will come looking for you.
Canada has issued significant weather bulletin for regions in the broadcast area. Stay tuned for further information. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. Yeah. 